This video will show you how to play Fantasy 3 uh, on Amiga with the Winfellow emulator, the Amiga emulator. I couldn't find anything on YouTube or anywhere on the web on how to get it started. So I thought I'd make a YouTube video because I'm a nice guy. So you can play the DOSBox version, which is what I originally had. But the graphics are terrible. So I'm just going to show you how bad the graphics are here. It's easy. DOSBox is easier. So if you don't care about the graphics, just get DOSBox and play the, the DOS version. Okay, why is it not working? Click on main DOS box. Yes, I am playing off the hard drive. There is no disk error. Load game. Yes. And exit is what I'm looking for. Yes, really leave Pendragon. Horrible. Terrible, horrible graphics. I'll show you some of the battle scenes. Get an encounter here. There we go. All purple and blue and crappy, like one step up from monochrome. Pretty bad. And the sound is horrible too. Bleeping. I don't know if it's picking that up, but it's bleep, bleep, bleep. So, anyways. We don't want that crappy version, we want the Amiga version. So the first step is to go get Winfellow, the Amiga emulator. And I got it saved in my favorites here, I'll include the links. Uh, game info. Winfellow. Where is Winfellow? Oh, you just go to... Uh, Emu Paradise, I believe, is what I got mine off of. Emu Paradise up there. I'll include this link. And from this site, you get you can get the game, the ADF file, as they're called, the instruction manual, which I highly suggest getting, because Fantasy 3 will ask you some questions in-game, and if you don't get them right, it kicks you out. So get the manual, uh, hints and cheats, there's nothing in there that I found anyways helpful. Uh, game music, I didn't need that. But get the instruction manual, Winfellow download is right there. The emulator that you need to play it. And uh, where's the actual file? Amiga, Fantasy 3, the, the Wrath of Nicodemus, ROM, Amiga ROMs. Uh, I've already got it on my computer, but I think you have to go to uh, there. Click on that. Save it. It'll be a zip file. you got to unzip it. And it'll just be the .adf file, which w is what you need to run the game in Winfellow. So once you got the Winfellow link, Winfellow on your computer, and you've got the ADF file, we can start. Oh, wait. There's one more thing. Uh, Winfellow, I've used emulators before, but uh, I never heard of something called a kickstart, but you need this address up here to get uh, the kickstart files for the Winfellow emulator. And I'll include this address too, but it'll look like that. Amiga kickstart ROMs complete something, and it's a, a another zipped file, but uh, WinRare or whatever will take care of that. So, once you get that, you need to put those kickstart files into into uh, not DOSBox, into the same folder. So here I have 
my emulator is the Amiga emulator. Here's my games. Here's Winfellow. So put your Kickstart folder, once you unzip it, into the same folder that has Winfellow.exe. And it'll have a bunch of stuff, and all you're going to need is the KS ROMs. That's all I need anyways. I don't know what the rest of the crap is. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I got the game to run, and uh, it looks way better. So we once you get all that stuff downloaded and ready to go and in the same folder, why did I close out of that? Then the kind of bitchy part is configuring this thing. This is like way confusing. I had to look up a bunch of stuff and just trial and error and I got it to work. So you bring up Winfellow, you go to configuration, display. Now these are the settings. I go true color, max that out or whatever your monitor can handle. Um, it's not going to take up the whole screen anyway so you can still do 920 by 1080. Full screen is checked. Uh, doubled, exact, I don't even know what that is. ECS, these are just the settings I had to get the game to run. So hopefully it works for you too. Uh, okay, that's set. Then we go to memory. Make sure those are set that way. I think that's pretty much default. I'm using the version 04.4 build 3, which is the link that I gave you. You'll get the same one. Sound, this is default too. You don't have to mess with this. I'm just showing you. Play sound, 44, 44,100 hertz or whatever. CPU needs to be set at 6,800, 68,000, which is the default. And some sites were telling me do this 6,820, but I couldn't get it to work. So don't mess with floppy. Memory, you got to go back to memory and go to image and click this little browse thing. And we're looking for the kickstart. So go back to your folder that had the kickstart in it, the kickstarts. And this part was a bitch too because I had to try a bunch of these till I finally found this one, kickstart version 1.4. This works for some reason. So open that. It'll be in there. You don't need a ROM key. I don't even know what that is. So hit OK. Come up here to the DFO, the first disk image. Browse. And now we're going to go to your ADF file. The ADF file for Fantasy 3. Yay, the .adf file. Click on that. Open that and start the emulation. And uh, this will be so embarrassing if it doesn't work. <laughs> oh my god. So you got to sit here forever and wait. Uh, you can type in stuff though. Awesomeness. Fantasy. Three, just like we used to play when we were kids. And a little better music, but still horrible. Oh! I hope it's not picking that up. If it is, I apologize. I so apologize if that sounds blasting. But I found a way to skip this screen. You pretty much just have to click, hit spacebar, listen to the awesome music. Got your your priest or your wizard there, ranger. Yay, it's loaded. Okay, so continue because I've already started a game. You get a mouse instead of the DOS box version where you just have to use the keyboard. And it does run a little slow, but come on, guys. It's free, huh? What do you want for free? So uh, options, view party. I'll show you my party there. Got my dudes ready to go. Awesomeness. Uh, let's let's show you some of the battle scenes. Oh, so much nicer. Look at the grass. Look at the the pebble pathway. It's just oh, carry here's monsters. No, we want to run. Okay, so this is where you want to start out. Anyways, this is not a tutorial on how to play the game, but I want to show you. Uh, Oh, come on, why is it not loaded? I want to show you... Oh, load previously saved dungeon, yes. I want to show you some of the battle scenes. They are way better. Just the graphics, look at this, my little... My little party. No, I do want to take the exit I just got here. So, it's just so much nicer, you know? Um, Ted's missing an arm. <laughs> 
Okay, an encounter. Look at that. Now you can't tell me that's a million times better. Graphics. So that's all set up good. And you get a little a little better sound effects too. <sighs> Instead of bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop. So anyways, uh, one last thing. I don't there's no way to get out of this emulator. <laughs> I've used emulators before, and you know, usually you can hit escape, and there's some other options, but this is like a true, true emulator. So, pretty much the only way that I figure to get out of here, not out of this battle scene, but out of the entire game, is just hit your Windows key, and unfortunately, start Task Manager, and end the task. Uh, if somebody else knows a better way to bail on this emulator, then... Let me know, because i got to do that every time. But 1987, Fantasy 3, awesome game, and good graphics, too. Well, better graphics than the DOSBox version. Okay, hope this helps, guys. Uh, yeah, leave me some comments. Let me know. Okay, later.